Alright, what's going on guys? Super Saiyan Zero is back. We are back on Borderlands 2. And when we left off, we had just gotten to Liarsburg. We got Sir Hammerlock, or we cleared uh, the bandits for Sir Hammerlock. Clackrack's eyes back in, and then we were given a mission to go and um, take out the bully mongs that are still around the area. So we are going to go do that right now. And we're probably going to do most of Hammerlock's side quests for this one, and we might call it. Depends on how long it takes us to do all of that. Here we are. We are back in Liarsburg now. The power is back on. So, real quick, before we do any of that, we're going to buy ammo. Okay. Uh, 2.08. Not going to worry about it. Alright, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. And we're going to roll with. So. All right, so the this area right here is the easier one to go clear out, but because this one is up here, let me equip the mission real quick first too. But this one is the is the closer one. It's also the harder one, so we're gonna get this one out of the way, and then we'll go down to the easier one to go clear those ones. So I love this shotgun at the beginning of the game. It's so good. In the, in, in the beginning, obviously. Oh. Great. Oh. Oh, Lord. Okay, he just ran right on by. Fuck. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, sir. Hey, uh, you. This would be an even oh. greater achievement if anyone in Liasburg was still alive to celebrate your victory, but still, well done. Dude, two torch pistols? Are they the same exact pistol? I just, I, I hate sword pistols in this game. It's literally the same exact pistol. Oh my lord. I hate, uh, only sword yeah. weapons I like in this game are the shotguns. Shotguns are really good. Every other sword weapon in this game is not very good. Except for, obviously, the, um... Oh man, what's the, the gold pistol? I forgot, what the, I forgot the name of the thing. It's just a long time played Borderlands 2, but, uh, that gun, as well... What is it? It's gonna bother me now that I don't know what the name of it is. But, oh well. I know you can get one really early too, like right after you leave here and you're on your way towards Sanctuary. There's a... Uh, God, what's the guy's name too that can drop it? Right at the beginning, I don't remember a lot of stuff, man. Or it's, I mean, it's like, it's stuff that I remember, I just don't remember the name of the guy. It's bothering me. Alright, I'm melee you. Melee all these dudes because they're all mongoloid. They're like a, a 4.9 being charged away, but whatever. It's still early, so I'm not too focused on them. I'm worried about gear that much right now. So, yeah, I'm safe. But it's. You know, like, Hammerlock is one of those things I've never noticed before, and he's, just, he's my least favorite character in the game. I said it in my last video, too. My least favorite character in the game, and probably my least favorite character in the entire Borderlands series, really. Um, I'm sure there's probably some people I'm forgetting about, but I just, I hate Hammerlock. His missions, every single one of them, you gotta go kill some creatures and stuff. It's always awful. I never want to do it. Look at technical shit. Um, I never want to do it because missions are always difficult, and like, even me and the, the friend that I play the game with, sometimes, we just, we skip all of his quests because they're just dumb, they're stupid. They don't really pay you off. Captain Flint's death as prolonged as possible, would you? If you're to survive out here for any length of time, you need to They just, they just don't pay off, man. They, they really don't. Especially the, um, one of the first missions you do for him after you find Sanctuary, again, this isn't really very spoilery, but... He, like, oh, there he that. Oh, there he that. Sorry. Um, he gives you this mission to go kill these bully mons, and he just keeps renaming them, and it's literally just a mission to go kill bully mons. You don't get, like, anything for it. It's just really stupid. I hate his quests. Yeah. But anyway, enough about me hating Hammerlock. Let's, uh, let's get back to the game. Boom. Boom. Excuse me. Boom. Boom. I'm getting crits left, right, and center right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, 
the shotgun is like super busted at the beginning of this game. We've hijacked the train that runs through the dust. Alright. If all goes well, we should get to Sanctuary in a day's time. Hyperion hasn't diverted any troops from New Haven to pursue us, and a sandstorm has devoured their nearest frontier town. We just did Oh! Damn it! Everyone, get away from the windows! You've discovered one of Helena Pierce's audio logs! She was a lieutenant in the Crimson Raiders, the anti-Hyperion resistance. Yeah. I'd be very interested to know what became of her. If you could find the rest of those audio logs, I would be more than happy to pay you for them. Alright, so I'm gonna get those logs a little bit later. Yeah. You have to go back to Sanctuary, and I'm gonna go back- Or not Sanctuary, yeah. sorry, Liarsburg. And I'm gonna end up having to go back there anyway, to turn in missions. So that's when I'll get them. I know exactly where all of them are at. Um, so I got this. I don't really like this. This is the only Vladoff weapons that I don't like are the assault rifles that skin. But, again, it's still early in the game, so we'll go with it. We will go with it. Well, so level 4, and uh, so I'm going, I'm coming up here, I'm going to equip the mission right now, actually. No bad act Oops, I passed it, I'm stupid. Alright, bad hair day, so I have to melee bully long. It is the hat of a gentleman. So basically he's gonna tell me that he's gonna give me he's gonna offer me a sniper rifle for the spur. But Claptrap is going to offer me a shotgun. So I wanna give it to Claptrap because I want I'd rather have the shotgun for this particular character. So and up here, in case anybody didn't know, this is the uh, they're bowling long up here. It's easier than going after it and going the other way the other way. Oh here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. You wanna kinda of weaken them first the uh, the bigger guys. Boom. There's another model over here, wasn't there? Yeah, there is. I don't want to kill this Damn it. Can I? Ah, oh, damn it. That's fine. There's more bully mongs up ahead. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna kill Well, I love the humor in this game, too. Um, Alright, I'm trying to kill these ones if you find they're dead. Damn it! <laughs> there we go. Stop beating my ass, bro. Chill. Chill. Alright. Alright, we'll definitely be giving it the clap trap, but we'd rather have the shotgun. Get the over the um, and again, for this particular character, um, we'd rather have a shotgun. I'm not gonna be sniping with action. See, I love when I play games like this and there is a character like Zero. The first character I ever beat this game with was Zero. And honestly, I can't even tell you how I did that because. And that was back when I really didn't know how to play this game that much. So, I was also really bad at sniping at that point in time. Still not the best, but I'm way better at sniping now than I used to be. And it was just... I, I don't... I just... I can't tell you how I got past it. I don't know how. And then... Because I, I was just so bad, and then I was specced into sniping. And I couldn't snipe. So, I eventually just drifted away from that. And started just using any weapon I could find, really. So, I was basically going and beating the game with a character that had no perks. So, now that I'm obviously more experienced and advanced, I could probably, I could, I could probably do that a little bit easier, but when I was first playing this game, man, I had no idea how I beat it. And then, my second playthrough, I played as Maya, and I completely wore it in this game. Especially the beginning part with her phase block, she was so, so broken for, uh, for a little while for me. And then I think uh, the Psycho for the uh, Craig, the Psycho for the first two playthroughs for uh, for the regular mode here, and then True Vault Hunter mode, he's super broken. His uh, his badass Psycho mode is just I just I just, ugh. 
My uh, my friend Michael used to love to play at him. And uh, him and I would just would just wreck shop. Cause I'd play uh, cause that that'd be the time where I would like to play as zero because he would he would be the front line with Cray. He would run up and start aggroing everybody, and then I would stand in the back and start sniping them. And that was back when I could snipe. I haven't sniped in a while, so I'm probably not as good as I used to be. Again, not saying that I was really good at all. Alright, so I'm going to now quit this mission. So that would be that would be my ultimate goal is to get my friend Michael to play this game with me. But um, he hasn't played Xbox in a long time after he got a PC. I would love to get a PC at some point as well. Um, and that also reminds me too, I would love to get face cam in here as well, but my computer is not good enough. So uh, when I put the Elgato thing in, Elgato was like, uh, no, your computer isn't good enough for you to have a face cam. So, like, what the hell? That, does that always happen? It could just die. For no reason. I've never seen that happen before. Um, anyway. So, until I get a better computer, I won't be able to do face cam. So, which eventually I will do that, but I don't have a lot of money. I was actually honestly pretty impressed that I was able to get things that I got here. Why am I so bad at aiming right now? Oh my lord, dude. Alright, fuck this. Stop! Stop! Um, please? Please? Okay. <clears throat> so, but I would like to get face cam on here at some point. I know a lot of people like face cam. I'm one of those people that does like to watch my videos with face cam. The house, the safe house power box so I will try to make that happen when I can. Besides, I've wanted to get a new computer for a while anyway. Just get a new fuse for the elevator and ignore what he said about that power box. And since I'm also filming in a 720 <laughs> instead of 1080, which I would like to film in uh, 1080, but my computer's not good enough to do so again. So, we're stuck with 720. I don't really mind, a lot of a lot of other people do mind, but I guess because I've been playing on a console, well, I forgot to go sell my weapons. Uh, let me go do that real quick, actually, so I can collect, I can pick weapons up. I guess I'll get the Helena Pierce um, audio logs while I'm at it. Um, no, actually, I'll just continue doing what I'm doing because once I do this, I'm gonna unlock the. There's a there's a medical shop up there, and uh, I'll just I'll just sell it when I get up there. Give me a trip. Um, I know uh, like a lot of people care about. It being 720 or 1080, I can't really tell a difference. I feel like that's because I've played on a console my whole life, so I'm more used to just you know 720, and I'm used to 30 FPS. But you know, some people aren't used to that, and I mean that's fine. I'm just letting you know that if you're coming here for that, it's, that's probably not going to happen for a little while. But it's not something that I'm against. I, obviously, I would love to do that, but I just can't do that right now. I'm not financially stable enough to be able to afford a computer to do that. However, that is in the plan. Oh, God. Alright, and I'm going to ignore what Claptrap said, and I'm not going to run into the thing, because it doesn't work. There's a fuse box right here. Okay, oh, and that pisses off the bully line. God. This is, uh, this is normally where I would go to do shielded favors, but these dudes are a little bit tougher. See, they're level 5. They're also all big. Oh, so, easier to go the other direction because there's monoliths and melee and stuff like that, and they're also a little bit lower level. Fuck off. Man, that was cool. So I'm also planning on making this my last video until my microphone comes out. So in my video camera should also be here, which means I will probably make another Dolphins video soon, and then I also, I said last year too when I was kind of being spotty with my videos, I wanted to talk about the Lions too, because my dad is a Lions fan, so therefore I'm also kind of a Lions fan, so I keep up with Lions news as well. Um, 
So I would like to do maybe a video about this as well at some point. But I'm uh, I'm excited to get my computer. Then you guys can see my other Jason HP. Interesting. Right, we're only at 15 minutes. Cool, 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 cool. So again, I'd hopefully like to do these side quests. I might not use the mid mong just yet. Plug that fuse in a Brewster's power box, and you'll be able to ride the elevator. Well, actually, no. I mean, I guess I'm more. Yeah, I guess I'm only 15 minutes in, so I might be able to do mid mong very uh very early here. Big Mong might be the last thing we do in this video. Or actually no, we might get to the area where Mid Mong is and then there's uh there's an external path. You, you guys will see there's a bunch of holy mongs, there's a bunch of racks and stuff like that. And um there's a there's a weapon box at the end, I would like to get to that. And then maybe in the next video when I have my microphone and stuff like that, I will go take on Mid Mong. Um, this might move a little bit slower because I like to do side quests, even though it's, again it's still the beginning of the game, and the side quests aren't aren't worth as much as they would later on. Um, I still like to do them. The only the only area I think I'll probably really struggle with in this playthrough of the beginning of the game is the bridge. The bridge always gives me issues. I hate the bridge. I hate those type of enemies. They just move around. They're super hard to shoot. Oh, but, uh, oh, but Super Saiyan Zero, I can, uh, I can freeze the genoscope down. Ah, I don't care. I don't care. I can't, so I suck. If you can, then, uh, then, uh, good for you. If you're really good at the fridge, then awesome. I, uh, I am not, so. <laughs> this is better in every way. I do need to buy a shield, so I might as well buy that one. Let me sell some of my weapons I have here, though. So all of this Challenge stuff completed. for the assault rifle, and then I will sell that one. This guy that was wanted. All right, cool. Now, if you could return to Lyallsburg, we could see about getting you off this frigid glacier. Frigid glacier. Oh, I hate him so much. A lot of people love hammerlock, man. A lot of people love hammerlock, but I'm not one of these people. I can't be the only person that, that does not like him. I cannot be. There's no way. Alright. We're going to get these, uh, these audio logs. I'll turn the mission on just for, you know, just for giggles, but I know where all these are at. I don't really need the map to tell me where they are. A lot of these beginning quests, I know exactly where they're at, and really, honestly, a lot of the quests in the game, I know exactly where they're at, just again, because of the numerous amount of times I've played the game. But, there's obviously still stuff I haven't seen in the game. There's still secrets I've never discovered, there's still weapons I've never gotten, and again, I've also never been to Ultimate Ball Hunter mode, so there's plenty of things I've never done in the game that I probably won't ever do, but it is what it is, man. I just enjoy playing this game. It's not all about getting the Ultimate Ball Hunter mode for me. Oh lord. Hey everybody! How are you? Jackie! I'll let the audio audio play. You know, these are awful. What is the meaning of this? Uh, I'm sorry. What was your name? Pierce. Well, Miss Pierce, and please don't tell me it's Mrs. Pierce and break my heart. This train doesn't belong to you. So why don't you turn around and face me out there? This train was commandeered legally under the... Holy nutballs! <laughs> what happened to your freaking face? <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite Hanson Jack moments, or the, uh, the audio log. Right here, this next line that he says on this audio log, this shit gets me rolling every time I play this game. Oh yeah, how about this? Lady, I don't even know what to call you. You tell me why you look like you headbutted a belt sander, and I'll let all of you go right now. My husband gave me a stag pearl ring. The pearl released hunger inducing pheromones. Oh, you know what? I am so sorry. I, I just forgive me. What, where's your husband now? He's dead. That is a heartbreaker. But you got something in common with him now, at least. Oh, holy crap! Did you see your head? It looks 
savages. Understood. Handsome Jack killed her, did he? Shame. A real shame. Please return the echoes to me whenever you are capable of doing so. Alright, so I wanna not fuck up, man. Oh here we go. Trade hands. There we go. Nice. You made the right decision, minion! See, like, see, like, I like this. I love torque shotguns. I love the explosive damage on them. And generally, you're also super close, so the way, because the explosive weapons, the bullets move super slow. So, but because you're super close to the shotgun anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. But obviously, and with the with the Mechromancer too, and you get the perk where your bullets have a chance to bounce off walls and stuff, and then you combine that with Anarchy, four shotguns in that. Oh my god. So, so good. I need to be level 5. Hopefully I'll be level 5 when I turn into it. Protection from bullets, ho! Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely that like pistol. Battle with a midget riding piggyback on a bully mong? Yes, I would. Better. Nice. Awesome. Cool. And very, very close to being able to use that shotgun. I also noticed, too, every time I go to buy ammo, that it shows it in the bottom left-hand corner. You know how much I have of the thing. Even though it's full, I still click on it like that anyway, just because I'm an idiot and I don't know why. It's just something I've always done. But again, I'm weird. I'm stupid. I do I, I do dumb things, okay? It's what I do. Alright, so we're to this. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably do when I enter the area, uh, Blackburn Cave, I'll take this little right hand path, I'll go fight all the dudes over there, and then probably end this video here. And then, uh, I'll be back with, oh wow, I never even checked the, the stuff in here. That's cool, I like that. Alright, right, cool, not bad. Um, and then yeah, I'll go fight all those dudes, and then I'll probably end the video, and then the next video that I post, I will... Again, have AT um AT sound in terms of my voice. So but I mean again with the video game thing man, just you guys let me know what you would like to see. Um if obviously I don't get a lot of attention, which I'm not really expecting I will. But, um, if y'all want to see something, let me know. If not, then I'll just continue, continue playing what I want to play. I might sprinkle in some Fallout 4 in here as well. I love playing Fallout. Um, I have the other Fallout games as well. I have Fallout 1 and 2 on my PC here. My computer's good enough to run those, at least. And I have, uh, Fallout 3 and Vegas as well, so... Boom. Alright, cool. So let's get the Saber turret now. Hey, hello, darling. Oh, well, they always move a bit slow, I think. It's like they're moving a little bit slower here, but again, that's just because I haven't played Borderlands in forever. Oh god. But again, it's not, it's not that big a deal. Alright, so I'm not sure to get that kill. Get closer to this achievement. I don't, I'm not like, uh, I'm not like somebody that likes to farm achievements all the time, but if they're doable, I like to, I like to get them. My game is not super high, I only have 41,000. So, you know, I'm obviously not, uh, not an achievement hunter. But, I do enjoy getting achievements, as long as they're not grindy. That's part of my problem with the, the one, with the one achievement I'm missing in the hands of collection. The level one badass stuff. This just takes so long. It's so grindy, and I, I just hate these kids. I hate grindy achievements. I really do. But it's kind of, you know, little by little, I might play some more Borderlands here and there to, uh, to, you know, to do that. I know one achievement I thought I was never gonna get that I did get was uh, finding Michael Mamoru. 
and I had never seen him before, and then me and my buddy Michael playing this game, we saw him like three or four times in one sitting of playing the game, yeah. after never seeing him any other time we played it. After never seeing him any other time we played it. So I hope maybe I'll find him, I might hit up some spots that he's in, maybe um, depending on how long that little run would take me in these videos, I might cut those parts out once I find him. Oh! Even better. Then I wasted my time using the shotgun to clap trap. I just found one that was instantly better. Good RNG, man. Good RNG. Stop throwing shit at me. Fuck off, bro. Oh, Lord, you're right. Now. Hello. I really start with like no ammo dude man. It's gonna be so great to get uh ammo upgrades. Probably do for acting the uh assault rifles and hopefully pistols. See the problem with me is with this game I usually stick to a plan of like certain weapons I wanna use throughout the game and I just always I always fall off of it and I just never roll with it. And then I'm using like SMGs or shotguns or some some shit that I thought I was never that I wasn't gonna use in the playthrough. I do it anyway. Just because I find something and I'm like, oh it's so good, and then I just end up using it. Oh shit, I got One thing I need to uh, to also focus on more when I'm playing through this game again is doing something I've never really done before, which I think is why I don't really succeed as much in the later levels of this game, is I just don't really use slag that much. Um, I try to use, like, I, I really don't use the elements that much, except for, like, when I'm uh, facing the Hyperion robots later on in the game, they're weak to, like, corrosive damage. So I'll use corrosive shotguns and things like that, but like I won't like for example this fire pistol is highly effective against flesh, so I won't use like a shock weapon and then switch to a fire weapon when I'm facing a bandit to knock their shield down and then to kill them with, with the fire. Even though in the later levels of the game you should probably do that. Because it just helps. And it makes killing dudes way, way faster. But, uh, I just, I don't do it. I don't do it, because it just seems super... I don't know. I don't know. I just, again, it's one of those weird things of mine, and that's probably why I don't succeed in the later level. But I would, may, I would like to get to that point. Oh, there's a DA deployed. here. Nice. Oh, no, no, he's not. Never mind, he's just a regular adult bull. He looks like a VA. thought he was a VA. He's not. It's just the, the lighting. Please don't kill me. Wow, my camera is shaking all the way around. There we go. Alright. So, I apologize if anybody's having a hard time hearing me. Or anything like that. But uh, I promise I'm getting that microphone, I will have that in, so if you are not liking the sound, um, it will change very, very soon. Nothing around here? Okay, I didn't think so. I'm also just looking in places that I never really thought to look before as well. Like uh, earlier before there, when I went on that boat and I found that weapon box. I never, I never knew that that existed before in any other parts of the game. So here, like the Jacobs... Rifle fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. It's an assault rifle. I'm not gonna use it. It's got a high damage, but I don't like I don't like the semi-auto thing with the assault up, rifle. Honey. I really don't. Alright, let's piss these rack off. Uh, yeah, no, of course shotgun is not the way to go against these guys. Might have actually not been a great idea. I don't really have a lot of weapons to handle these guys with right now. But I want the XP because I'm greedy. God, I'm awful. Oh, 
Why are they so sporadic? They normally fly like in a row and they'll fly at you all at once. And uh, they're not doing that right now. They're being super, super sporadic. I apologize for my crummy, crummy aiming. Fuck off. Yeah, part of my problem is I don't drag the stick like this. I freaking jerk it around like that, so my aim is always super fit for it. It's just always something I've done. I can't grow out of the habit. I know that that's why I'm bad at aiming. I just can't grow out of doing it. Now you be careful, honey. I've always, I've always tried because I really do want to not shoot like a ten-year-old, but. It's hard sometimes to, to break these habits that you've had your entire life. Eventually, maybe hopefully I'll get there. God damn it, see, see like they, they keep spawning. Ah. There we go. Damn it, I keep chucking the water. Alright, there we go. That's it for the rest. So we're at 31 minutes now. So I'm going to cut the exploring down now. I'm just going to run through, Excuse me, run through, and uh, finish this. There is a weapon box at the end of this little path here, and I got a little bit more fighting to do. And around up here, I think it's up more where the box is the highest chance. I'm not sure if it's a hundred percent chance or not that a that a that a badass will spawn. I generally will always be a badass though up there. Sometimes I'll hit one around here too. This one I don't think is a guarantee. Oh god, he's jumped. My bad. Like he hits me and I just aim for the sky. I don't know why I keep looking at all these dudes and they look like PA to me. I don't know why. They look like that ass. And then I'm sure I'm gonna see the badass and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I know he's a completely different than the other one. But these dudes all keep looking like badass. That's that. I think, like, uh, going back to, like, the slag weapon thing, I think that's why I struggle so much with Salvador, is because I, uh, you know, he's really good if you have a slag weapon in your hand, in one of your hands when you're gun jerking, and just a regular gun or a fire gun, you know, some, some other type of gun in your, in your other hand, and, uh, that's just where he, that, that's just where he shines, and I just can't, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm dumb, man, I'm dumb. Uh, increases weapon swap speed and aim speed, although your movement speed is increased while aiming. Um, that's nice. I like actually like both of these, especially too. If I'm gonna try to use slag in this playthrough, I might need to do it later. So I'm gonna go with the gun damage for now. And again, I might spec my turret a little bit more in this run through, at least until I get the achievement for the saber turret kills. I might actually get pretty early on. Try to let my turret, I try to let my turret kill some dudes so that, um, so that it's just less I have to do later. Just, these, are, these are early on, so a little bit later the enemies will be tougher for me to kill. There's no BA right here, there's usually a BA here. Alright, I guess, alright. He might still spawn though. Normally though, I run up here and he's already sitting there. He's already chilling up here. You tell him, baby. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, 
Oh, there's two of them, bro. Oh my lord. Okay, good. Nice. Oh my god, well, I didn't even know they did that. I didn't know they covered the face. Down low so that if he down yes. might be able to kill him though. Boom. Alright, awesome. Cool. Alright, I am full. Weapons I can't carry any of this stuff. There's a box over here. I want to open that and then I will end this video. But uh, so that's cool. If any of you have played Borderlands out there, um, and you didn't know about this little path up here, then, uh, th then there you go. All right, little box. Probably got the poopy pistols in here. Yep, more or less poopy pistols. I might. Uh... All right. I'm going to end this right here, though. I am going to run myself all the way back over there and sell the weapons I have in my inventory, come back, pick these up, and sell those as well. But I'm going to do that off camera. That's a little boring, and I'm already at 36 minutes of this video. So, um, yep, again, next time you see me, I should have a good quality mic, and we'll, uh, we will go kill Midgemong in the next episode. So until then, I'll see you guys later, and uh, 